Hello, with this tutorial, I want to show you how to create a slide like that. Well, those three elements could be animated and fly one by one. So how I did this slide? You need to prepare three icons and a photograph. I went to unsplash.com and flaticon.com to download the materials. I've downloaded icons both in black and white, uh, three normal icons and one picture like that. One vertical picture. Once I've done that, I just selected a new slide and I've deleted everything from the slide. I went to insert, text box, and I want the title text box here. I'll just control C and control V the text which I had. At first I didn't use the color here, I just knew that I want one dominating color and a secondary color to, to improve it. So I used a, a blackish grayish color for everything and then just made an orange addition. Okay, once you have this first text box selected and you wrote in your title, you want some body text here. For that, you can again go to insert text box and you can insert the body text. I went for some lorem ipsum text and I used the Relaway font. You can see I just Ctrl C and Ctrl V this here. I click on it and I choose Railway. Railway is a very good font, but it's an additionally installed font on my system. You don't have the font by default. You need to download and install it, which I very recommend because this is an amazing font. The text looks always great. Then I clicked on the text. I went to home, to the text and I chose this bottom gray one, just before the last one. Okay, so we have this first part of the slide done. Now, I wanted to divide this element into like three heavy objects, three informations on the slide. For that, I went to insert, shapes, and I was using a rectangle shape. Now, you don't have to be maximally precise, just create a shape like that, to approximately the, the size you would like it to be. Okay, I'll make it to the fourth inch. With the shape fill, I'll use another gray color, something dark, like this one. Okay, there we have it. And now you want to copy this two times. You can select this object and press Ctrl D, Ctrl D. One thing I forgot, I need to select all of them, shape outline, and give it no outline, so we do not have this blue outline. So why do I need three objects? So one will be my measurement, and the second one will be on the left side. As you can see, I'm just doing this because I'm lazy. And as you can see, mm, we barely meet like the place to fit in three objects here. I'll delete the second one. I just wanted to get this space right. I see they are a bit too big, so I select the first one, shift click the other one, and I make it a tiny bit smaller. You can use your left alt key so it doesn't snap to anything. Okay, a bit smaller, now this one a bit closer. And we will follow with the slide body. What I did, I just took the main text, I pressed Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and I put this text here. And I make it like that. Of course, now the text appears a bit too big, so you can lower the size of the text by going to home and making it smaller. Perfect. Ctrl C, Ctrl V, or just simply Ctrl D to duplicate the object and place it in all three of those spaces. What I did here, I also took this one, shift click this one, and I used a white color for it. Why did I use a white color? to make it better visible. Now adding the additional elements was very simple because I had my icons prepared, so I just took two white icons and one black icon. I drag and drop everything to PowerPoint, I make all of them a little smaller and I place them in the appropriate place. Smaller, place it here, and smaller place it here. You need to try to be like precise here. 
We can try to be precise here, but now when it comes to the spacing, I believe personally that we do not have enough space between the icon and the text. So I'm taking the text and either make it smaller from the top side or just take all three of them and put them a little bit to the bottom. Okay, this is perfect. The last adjustment I made, I added those little slight numbers. Those slight numbers can be added very simply. You just take all the text, you make it 0, 1 and you put it here. In the middle, a little bigger. This is no big issue. Ctrl D, 0, 3. Ctrl D, 0, 2. And of course, I would need to click on it and use the gray color that we used previously. Okay, we have the gray. Now, how did I do this picture here? And this is very important. I did this picture by taking this picture, placing it right over this box. As you can see, PowerPoint adjusted the size of the picture to fit the slide. And I took crop. I need to crop it exactly to the, to the gray object I have. Okay, perfectly, it is now cropped. Now I can position the image as I want. I can make the image bigger if I need, but I don't need this, maybe a bit to the top and crop. Now we are nearly ready. I only right clicked on the image. I sent it to back and now you can wonder what happened. So you can take the object above it, this gray object, you can right click and format this shape. You can go to fill, you can select gradient fill. You, you kind of see where I'm going with this and on the gradient fill you have the transparency, okay? I'll delete two of those colors and I make the same either gray or gray orange color and I'll work a little bit with the transparency, not much, just so we see the image and we give a little bit of flare to the slide. Okay, in my opinion, this is perfectly ready to use and prepared. This is it when it comes to a tutorial, how to create a slide designed like this I had it justified because I thought it will look a bit better, but it appears that centered it might be even better. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. If you are interested, please click on the other videos on my channel and take a look around. Maybe you will be interested also in my online courses. Thanks for watching and see you again.